And welcome back to the live morning show presented as always by Don Bullock Chevrolet. And we are glad to, I, I tell you one thing, the set just got a little bit prettier. I guess I'll go ahead and say that. Two beautiful ladies here uh, with me, uh, Mary Ann Avery and Faith Preston are here to uh, talk about the Boys and Girls Club uh, program and event that is coming up. Teeny Tiny Turtles on the Tar. Ladies, have you ever tried to say that five times fast? <laughs> yes. You have? Yes. With any success? Mm -mm, okay, no. so it comes out as teeny. <laughs> right. It does. Mary Ann, how about you? Have you ever tried it? Oh, it's hard. I bet it is. It's hard for me to say it's slow. Um, so Mary Ann Avery and Faith Preston are my guests here for this segment. Uh, we're going to be talking about, I'll say it again, the teeny tiny turtles on the tar in their second year. Many of you may remember this event uh, from, I guess now two years ago, because nothing happened with, with COVID for the last uh, year or so. But uh, we're going to start with you, Faith. Uh, first of all, if you would just kind of introduce yourself uh, to our audience and uh, I guess how you became involved uh, with this program and event. Okay. Hello, my name is Faith Preston and I work for the Boys and Girls Clubs of the Tar River Region. Um, I've always worked with children. I was a teacher mm -hmm. for 14 years awesome. and I was doing, I'd taken a break from teaching and was working at a summer job and I ran into an employee that worked for the Boys and Girls Club. Okay. And that was basically my opening into working with the organization. I've loved it ever since. I've been here three years. Um, Ron Green is a great leader. Absolutely. I love what we do. Absolutely. I love our commitment to the community and our youth. It's just, I'm blessed to work at the strike. Ron is incredible, like legitimately. Mm -hmm. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. It, it is very hard to find people that are as passionate as he is with, with what they do and, and, and how important it is in, in that capacity. Marianne, how about you? Give us a, a brief introduction to you. Okay, um, I'm Mary Ann Avery. Um, I am the Resource Development Director for the Boys and Girls Club of the Tar River Region. Okay. Um, my husband and I moved here about a year ago. Oh, wow. So we've only been here a short time, but we love it here. Um, we plan to retire here in much, much longer years. <laughs> okay, I was say not, not, not quite now, right? Not, not no, giving not any spoilers. Um, don't, don't want to freak Ron out. No, <laughs> no. Uh, not, not yet. But. No, um, and it has been my joy to work for the Boys and Girls Club. It has been my passion. Um, I came from the Boys and Girls Club of North Central, okay. which is Oxford area before I came here. Nice. So. Uh, nice. Uh, love it. Love what we do. Absolutely. Uh, well, and the results. Yeah, and I can tell that both of you do love that genuinely. And, and how important it is to, to have good, hard-working, energetic uh, person, uh, people in, in the Boys and Girls Club because that is the foundation of our community, mm -hmm. our youth. And uh, that's got to be really exciting to, to see change and difference made in the lives of it those is. kids. It is. It is. It's definitely a big thing. Uh, what, is it, what does that mean to you to get to literally see that in action and see kids' life change? Well, you know, for me, I was a, I was a teacher, like mm -hmm. I stated before, so to be able to impact the next generation, mm -hmm. give them the foundation that they need to be positive, to be productive, to be Absolutely. responsible city, citizens, right. to me, that's the best legacy, Absolutely. you know, that a person could have. No and doubt. we get to see that every day in what we do you know mm -hmm. we work with youth who need us the most mm -hmm. and that's true and we have children that come from all kinds of environments and we get to cultivate transform and see them grow that's 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 it's not that's, much better mm -hmm. yeah there's not and Marianne what is the most rewarding thing for you personally um, to see the the youth development um, to see the kids um, go from where they are to what, what they can be and, and become that. And uh, uh, our Youth of the Year, Elijah Sellers, is again, mm -hmm. uh, just won the State Youth of the Year again. We're yes. so proud of him. Absolutely. Um, so that, that's what we do. And um, I, I've just, I couldn't be more proud of yeah. him. I couldn't be more proud of the organization. Right. Right. Wonderful youth there that you mentioned, uh, very deserving for sure. Uh, Faith, we're going to talk to you about uh, the second year of this Teeny Tiny Turtles on the Tar, uh, number one fundraiser uh, for the uh, Boys and Girls Club. And uh, talk a little bit about this, because like I say, everything has to, has to have money to operate. Yes, and uh, 
this particular fundraiser. Uh, for those that are not familiar with it, uh, as we mentioned, this is the second one. So obviously the first one had to be somewhat successful in order to have another one. Uh -huh. uh, tell us about this event. Okay, it's really a fun, family-oriented um, event. Um, we, Marianne came up with the idea last year in the midst of COVID because um, one of our major fundraisers was canceled. Mm -hmm. It was our Derby Day and oh, that's, yeah. ooh, that's a really oh, nice gosh. event yeah. people love to come yes, to. Yes. So she came up with the idea to do the Teeny Tiny Turtles on the Tar okay. and it was just so good. We said, oh, let's do that again. Mm -hmm. And so that everyone will know it is not real turtles. No, that's right. That's <laughs> it's right. Not real turtles. That's I've right. gotten several calls about getting a turtle. People are sensitive <laughs> about certain things. But yeah. they are um, rubber turtles. We dump them over the Peachtree Bridge into the actual Tar River. Mm -hmm. We allow them to float down and the first three turtles to go into the trap. They win and you can win cash prizes of mm. 500 250, 100, but ultimately the goal is just to raise money for our youth. Okay. So anyone can, we have several turtle packages. Okay. You can go to Teeny Tiny Turtles or to our Facebook page, you can go to turtlesonthetar.com to adopt your turtle. Yeah, so any, anyone can do it, like, like an individual, a mm -hmm. family, a business. Yes, uh, yes. Marianne, uh, for you, what was, you know, in, in your opinion, being creative about events you know you talk about fundraisers and things like that what what to you was the creative part behind this because it's one thing to you know kind of ask people to do something but they have to have a little fun twist to it talk a little bit about the creativity that went behind this particular event you think Okay, um, I can't take full credit for right. that. Actually, uh, Ron Green came up with the idea. Right, okay. And, uh, and then uh, we hadn't done it yet, yeah. so yeah. it was a new event, and it was great. It was to engage the community at a time when um, uh, we were in COVID sure. and uh, find a way to still get that money that we need for right. our clubs, um, but do it in a safe way. Mm -hmm. So we had to pivot from our Derby Day and, and the party everybody loves yeah, exactly. um, into something else. And we did that with the Turtles um, so that we could still engage the community mm -hmm. and outside our community right. too with the adoptions. Right. Um, and we we uh, streamed it. We did our Facebook Live yep. Yep. and Instagram Live uh, so everybody could watch. Right. And that went really, really yeah. well. Yeah. People seemed to like it because, you know, let's just face it, COVID was such a hard time and, and you were in the house and that's when, mm -hmm. that's where we were, mm -hmm. in the house, not a lot to do. And uh, this was exciting right. and fun, and uh, I think everybody really liked it. Yeah. And we had a lot of we had a lot of requests. When's that going to happen again? Yes. So. Yes. And that's why I mentioned the word creativity because mm -hmm. we've all had to get more creative that's with true. COVID yeah, and uh, the restrictions and everything like that. Yeah. Now, uh, Faith, you mentioned um, you know being open to the community, adopting. Uh, the different packages that are available. Uh, as you watched event number one roll into now what is the preparation for event number two, uh, what are some of the things that you learned from uh, year one to now two and, and what can people really look forward to? And then we'll go back to Marianne for some specifics on uh, the, the program. For me, you know, I don't work in RD part. Mm -hmm. I'm the office manager, so I, I have the privilege of working with Mary Ann mm -hmm. on a lot of events. So I learned how engaged our community is and how knowledgeable they are of our organization. Right. We have a lot of people who support us, who believe in our mission, and who are determined to see us be successful. I agree. So as I look at last year, which we pioneered it, and this year, we had a lot of people be on board before it could really, you know, take off. Right. Yeah. Like yeah. this year, we had yeah. teams. There were organizations or groups, social groups that said, hey, we want a team. And every team had a goal. And they were selling their <laughs> turtles before oh, we could even man. set it on the page. <laughs> good. <Man. laughs> so there's something about that little, you know, mm -hmm. competition. You know, there's nothing wrong with a little healthy competition yes, in anything. Yes. And, you know, businesses getting involved and different things like that. Mm -hmm. Now, Marianne, you had a couple of points that you wanted to bring. I know we mentioned. Uh, uh, the Community for Life program and uh, you know just the, the vast uh, amount of support that has been received. Um, also Davenport is adopting 10 turtles as well mm -hmm. so they're kind of 
leading the way and saying, hey, we want to support this, this is a great cause. Uh, what did you want to add to that particular part? Yeah, Davenport has been a, a longtime supporter of the Boys and Girls Club, mm -hmm. and they got on board with the Teen Tiny Turtles as well, and they decided that they would do this in a much bigger way than just adopt some turtles or do a sponsorship. They wanted to really engage in this, so they put, and they want to engage uh, the community. Right. So their community uh, life program uh, is supporting the community by giving to certain charities and they they're kicking that off on May 1st with the Boys and Girls Club. Okay. So uh, they will be doing a um, we will be their charity for the month. Okay. And uh, so when they sell cars, we'll benefit from that. And oh, that's awesome. great. Awesome. Davenport is awesome. <laughs> right. uh, and another thing that they're doing for the turtles is they've adopted 10 turtles and they're having a Name the Turtle campaign right. on their Facebook page. All right. And so they are asking folks to go onto their Facebook, um, Davenport uh, Auto Parks Facebook page, and suggest a name for the turtles. Um, How about and then that? They are going to select 10, uh, 10 names, okay. and those people that suggested those names will um, will get a free oil change. Oh, and then okay. all the other folks that have been participating in this are enter entered into a drawing to also maybe get a free oil change. All so, right, all right. Yeah, you gotta they, love those perks. Yes, yes. the word and, "free" appeals <laughs> to my heart for mm -hmm. sure, but a lot of folks' hearts. So you you like to win those prizes. Yeah. Yeah, and they're they're just doing it in such a big way and yeah. bringing in the community which is what we love. We mm -hmm. love to see the community involvement and Davenport shows that every day for us. So we're, we're really thankful for yeah, that. Yeah, I appreciate that perspective. Now uh, back to you Faith, uh, we've talked about the fundraiser itself, how to adopt the turtles, the different packages that are available. On the day of the event, what are what are the plans now? Are, are we still under, like can people come out and watch? Can they come participate? Mm -hmm. I know we still kind of got COVID, trying to get out of that, but uh, where do we stand as far as how people can can be involved the day of? Okay. Last year, we definitely could not have people come out, but this year, the Rocky Mount Mills and due to COVID restrictions being lifted higher, people are welcome to come out to the event. All right. Now, we will dump the turtles from the Peachtree Bridge. Mm -hmm. No one is allowed on the bridge, on the bridge. for safety purposes. I, I agree. So everyone who comes, and we invite you to come, you will gather around the Tar River by the Rocky Mount Mills area. You can watch the turtles come down and fun. enjoy the event. We're going to have a horse raffle there. We're going to mm. actually have a horse there. Really? So if you want uh -huh. to take pictures, oh my. Uh, wow. family pictures or pictures with your children, there will be a horse out there with a backdrop for you to take a picture. That there will actually awesome. be a turtle walking around, the <laughs> oh. turtle mascot. Of so course. you are welcome uh -huh. to come take a picture with the turtle and just have fun. I mean, the race um, can be about maybe 20 minutes okay. itself, but you can bring a lawn chair, yeah. sit out and watch yeah. it. And oh, I, 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 and give us the date. I don't know, make sure we, what, what is the date? Our event is Saturday, May the 1st, well, and Saturday it starts at 10. Okay. Now, you're welcome to come out earlier. Books and Beans will have like mint tea and some mm. other okay. Um, okay. teas that they will sell to the public. Right. So just come out and have a good time, and yeah. the kids are gonna love it. I can imagine hearing the voices of tens and maybe even a couple hundred little kids just yelling at those tur yeah just watching them race <laughs> yes. and the competitive I mean that's just going to be really mm -hmm. cool to watch mm -hmm. so uh, Mary Ann any closing statement that you wanted to make and then I'll let Faith close but just as you kind of look at this event and the pride that goes behind it and, and inviting the public we've, we've you know anything we haven't touched on or need to reemphasize yeah, um, so please come out on May 1st. Uh, 10 o'clock is sharp is when we dump the turtles. Okay. Uh, and if you go behind Books and Beans down to the river, that's the best viewing Ooh, area. All right, so, you uh, got a secret, save from watching yes, the Yes, right, so you get go. there. You know, uh, if you're not a big tea drinker, go in and get some coffee and some mm -hmm. pastries from Books and Beans. Uh, it's gonna be awesome. Please get there and get your raffle ticket for the horse part yeah. of it. We have some horses, uh, there's a horse raffle, and some horses going down the river too. That is, so, that's uh, awesome. So please get there early and enjoy and stay and visit the mill. Uh, and uh, Beautiful place. Make sure you get your, make sure you get your turtles uh, at turtlesonthetar.com. Uh, and and uh, we're selling out fast, but you want to make sure you get in that race. Yes. So get your turtles today, 
and a big thank you to Davenport uh, for what they're doing in our community and for the Boys and Girls Club to make an impact on our children and spur the community on to do it as well. Absolutely. Mary and I did want to yes, say please, this. Uh, what would you um, like to say? To as far as the turtle winners, mm -hmm. you do not have to be present oh, to win. Okay. Now we want you there. Sure. <laughs> but you don't have to be present. Okay. You know, we enter the number of the turtle into the computer, mm -hmm. we find out who the winner is, mm -hmm. and we contact the winners. All right, awesome. So you can donate mm -hmm. and you can help you can put a turtle in the race and not actually be at the race mm -hmm. if you want to contribute to what is a wonderful cause. Marianne Avery and Faith Preston have been my guests uh, to promote the second annual Teeny Tiny Turtles on the Tar to benefit the Boys and Girls Club of the Tar River region. Ladies, thank you so much for being thank with you. me. Thank, thank you for me. having us. I really enjoyed this. I appreciate your energy and your spirit, your great personalities and uh, all that you do for uh, the Boys and Girls Club and our community. When we return, we'll get back to more of your phone calls and more of our discussion here on the live morning show. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Hello. <laughs>